Hello, everyone. Hola, bienvenidos. How are you today? Como estas hoy? My name is Megan. I am a teacher with Open English. Y muy pronto vamos a tener clase juntos con Open English Mode. So, hola, como estas? Envía tus comentarios para practicar tu inglés y para participar. ¿De dónde eres? Como estas hoy? My name is Megan. I am from the United States. And I am doing great today. So in a few minutes, we will start class together with open English mode. Muy pronto vamos a tener clase juntos con open English mode. Estoy preparando tecnología para la clase. Ustedes pueden enviar tus comentarios para participar y practicar tu inglés. Hoy vamos a discutir el día de San Valentín. Una semana especial. Hi, Lisi. Welcome. Great to see you today. How are you? Where are you from? Hello, Yolanda. Nice to see you again. Welcome. I'm happy to see so many people watching today. Hello, Joelia. Welcome. Great to see you. My name is Megan. En unos minutos vamos a tener clase juntos con Open English Mode. Diez minutos de inglés gratis con Open English. So, mi nombre es Megan. Envía tus comentarios de donde eres, cómo estás hoy. Hello, Gabriela, welcome. Hi, Sergio. Sergio says hi from Mexico. Lizzie says my English is very bad. No te preocupes, Lizzie. Vamos a practicar juntos. Hi, Daniel, welcome. Great to see you. Hoy vamos a discutir y practicar vocabulario para el día de San Valentín. Ustedes pueden preparar para esta semana. Hello, Petrona. Welcome. Great to see so many people. Envía tus comentarios para practicar y participar tu inglés. Gabriela says hello from Peru. Yolanda says hello from Nicaragua. Excellent. Welcome. I am from the United States. Okay. Very soon we will have class here on Instagram and Facebook. Estoy preparando para la clase. ¿Cómo estás hoy? Envía tus comentarios para practicar y participar tu inglés. Muy pronto vamos a tener clase juntos. Okay, we are getting ready here on Instagram and Facebook. Okay, hello everyone. Hola, bienvenidos. ¿Cómo estás? My name is Megan. Today we are going to have class together with Open English Mode. Hoy vamos a estudiar vocabulario para el día de San Valentín. Envía tus comentarios para practicar y participar. Let's see, more people are saying hello. Uh, let's see, Hunasi says thank you, you're welcome. De nada. Hi Gabby on Instagram, great to see you. Hello Esteban. Hello Luigi. Yolanda says, I like to learn English. Good, excellent. Muy bien, ok, Asora. Vamos a comenzar. So, hola y bienvenidos a Open English Mode. Diez minutos de inglés gratis con Open English. Mi nombre es Megan de Chicago, Estados Unidos. Y soy profesora de inglés con seis años de experiencia enseñando en Open English. Hoy vamos a hablar sobre vocabulario para el día de San Valentín. So today we will learn vocabulary for Valentine's Day. Okay, so let's start here. Remember, envía tus comentarios para practicar tu inglés. First, we have some vocabulary. We want to match the word or phrase to the pictures. Match as emparejar. So try to identify the word for each picture. I will read the English words. Voy a leer las palabras en inglés y ustedes pueden enviar sus comentarios. You can send your comments. Okay, so first we have letter A, couple, couple. Letter B, hug, hug. Letter C, heart, heart. Letter D is kiss, kiss. Letter E, roses, roses. And letter F, date, date. 
So in Vitus Comentarios, try to identify which picture matches the word. We will check our answers together. We can look at your responses together. I will watch for your comments here. Let's learn some Valentine's Day vocabulary together. Y hola a todos, estudiantes nuevos, bienvenidos. Estamos practicando vocabulario para el día de San Valentín. So let's check our answers together. Oh, many people are saying hello. Hi, Javier from Ecuador. Okay, Claudia says that picture number five is A. She has some answers. She is correct. Let's start with picture number one. Picture number one is B, hug, abrazo. This is a good vocabulary word for Valentine's Day, right? Picture number two is E, roses, roses. Picture number three matches letter C, heart, heart, corazón en español. Picture number four matches letter F, date, cita. So on Valentine's Day, it is common to go on a date, maybe have a special dinner like the picture. Picture number five is letter A, couple, couple. This is a happy couple. And in picture number six, we see letter D, kiss. She gives the dog a kiss. Excellent, great practice, great participation. Excellent work with some new vocabulary for Valentine's Day. Yes, I see Tordanez has some great ideas on Instagram. I see many great comments on Facebook. Wonderful. Let's continue. Vamos a continuar. And let's talk about culture. Y hola a todos. Estamos estudiando y practicando inglés para el día de San Valentín con Open English Mode. So, envía tus comentarios para discutir la cultura. How do you celebrate love in your country, in tu país? ¿Cómo celebras el amor? And we can read about the United States together. So vamos a leer. In the United States, February 14th is Valentine's Day. People celebrate love. The focus is usually about romantic love and couples go out on special dates. Hearts and red roses are common symbols for this day. Children write Valentine's cards for their classmates, tarjetas de Día de San Valentín, and family members wish each other a happy Valentine's Day. Feliz Día de San Valentín. So here we see this child has a Valentine's Day card for her grandmother. Valentine's Day celebrates many types of love. So what about you? Envía tus comentarios. How do you celebrate love in your country? Tienes un día especial como el día de San Valentín. Let me look at your ideas. Jace Patrick, hi, good to see you, says in Mexico, it's the same day. Valentine's Day is the same day. Okay, so February 14th this week. Days, I hope you have something special planned for Valentine's Day. Okay, I see people on Instagram are saying some similar things. They celebrate Valentine's Day. Good. I see Julio from Colombia says hello. Hi, Julio. Great, okay, excellent. Let's continue. Let's practice more vocabulary for Valentine's Day. So, hola a todos. Estamos practicando vocabulario para el día de San Valentín. And now we can practice some expressions. So, for this activity, try to match the meanings, significados, with the expressions, okay, expresiones, and practice using the expressions in your own sentences. So, envía tus comentarios para practicar, para identificar los significados de las expresiones. I will read the information in English. So, we have three Valentine's Day expressions. Number one, I think love is in the air. Number two, it was love at first sight. Number three, I have a crush on you. And let's look at some possible definitions here. Letter A says, I feel a romantic energy in the atmosphere. Letter B, I am attracted, atraído, 
to you in a romantic way. And letter C, immediately when I saw you, I fell in love with you. Me enamoré de ti. What do you think? Can you match the expressions and the definitions and meanings? Let's see what your ideas are. I will watch on Facebook and Instagram for your ideas. Let's see. Okay, many people are talking about Valentine's Day. Good. Julio says it is in September in Colombia. Excellent. Good. What do you think about these expressions? Can you try to match the definitions to the expressions about love? For example, what do you think? Number one, I think love is in the air. This matches with, yes. Number one matches with letter A. Love is in the air. This means I feel romantic energy in the atmosphere. I feel love everywhere. What about number two? It was love at first sight. Number two, love at first sight. Melissa on Facebook says that C is number two. Yes, Melissa, you are correct. Love at first sight is immediately when I saw you, I fell in love with you. First sight, primera vista. And number three then matches letter B. I have a crush on you means I am attracted to you. So now when you hear some Valentine's Day expressions, you are prepared. You can understand these expressions, right? Very good. Excellent practice here. Great participation. Let's continue. Vamos a continuar. Y bienvenidos a todos. Estamos practicando vocabulario para el día de San Valentín. Juntos con Open English Mode. So what about you? Share your experiences. Envia tus comentarios para practicar tu inglés. Here we will talk about what special treats, special treats, dulces or sorpresas, cosas especiales. What special treats do you exchange, intercambiar, to celebrate love? And we can read about the United States together. So candy is a popular gift on Valentine's Day in the United States. People buy candy in boxes shaped like hearts, con la forma de corazones, and couples send each other chocolates shaped like roses. Some candy pieces include messages or phrases about love. So here in the picture, you see this candy piece says, hug me, abrázame. This green heart says, kiss me, besame. So on Valentine's Day, we exchange candies in the United States. What about you? And we have two commentarios. What special treats do you exchange to celebrate love? Are there special candies or gifts that are common in your country? And we have two commentarios. Oh, good. I see some more comments here. Good. Excellent. Hunasi says, I am very happy with my love. Good. Hunasi, do you exchange special treats? What do you think? I will watch for your ideas here. What are common treats or candies to give as gifts on Valentine's Day? El día de San Valentín es común intercambiar cosas especiales como dulces. Okay, Melissa says globos. Good. In English, globos is balloons. So in my country, we exchange balloons. Very good, Melissa. Other ideas? Más ideas? Envía tus comentarios para practicar tu inglés, para discutir el día de San Valentín. Good. Daniel says flowers. Excellent. Very good. Flowers are a popular gift to celebrate love. Flores, like maybe roses. Excellent. Very good. Great participation. Excellent vocabulary today. Great class, everyone. Thank you for your great work. Espero que les haya gustado la clase de hoy. La próxima semana, Open English Mode será el martes. So los esperamos el próximo martes para que aproveche 10 minutos más de inglés gratis con Open English. Y no lo olvides, inscríbete a nuestro curso en openenglish.com para que domines el inglés tan rápido como tú decidas. Te esperamos.